A group of people from the Bani Bukair came to the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and they said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, marry our daughter to somebody. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, What about Bilal? And then they came again and they said, Marry our daughter to somebody. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, What about Bilal? And upon the third occasion they came again and they said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, marry our daughter to somebody. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, What a what about Bilal, a man of Jannah? A man of Jannah. In another narration, the Prophet wasallam said, Al Jannatu Mushtaqun ila Bilal. Jannah longs for Bilal. We long for Jannah and Jannah longs for Bilal. Upon occasion, the Prophet wasallam finished the Fajr Salah. And he turned around and he said, Oh Bilal, what is it? What action do you do? That last night I entered into Jannah and I heard your footsteps in front of me. What action do you do? And Bilal radiallahu said, the only action that comes to my mind is that whenever my wudu breaks, I do my wudu again. And I pray two rakats. This was a man who was persecuted for deen. The most severe persecution. He did jihad. He was the muadzin of the Prophet sallallahu But why were his footsteps in Jannah? Because every time his wudu broke, he did wudu. And he prayed two rakats. And this is why sometimes we think actions as insignificant. But they are very important. Because they are the foundations. Your salah is your connection with Allah. There was never any sahabi who did not pray their salah. The truth is when they prayed their salah, they were connected with Allah. They reached their state of ihsan. Bilal on the day of judgment will be with the Prophet ﷺ. The Prophet ﷺ said to Bilal, he said, Bilal, live in poverty. Remain in the company of poor people and die in poverty. The Prophet ﷺ said regarding himself, Allahumma ahyini miskinan wa amitri miskinan. وَحْشُنِّي فِي الزُّمْرَةِ الْمَسَاكِينَ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ He said, Oh Allah, as long as you keep me alive, then keep me alive in the state of poverty. Keep me alive in the state of poverty. And this is why when the Prophet ﷺ was passing away, the narration mentioned he only had seven dirhams in his possession. And he said to Aisha رضي الله عنها, He said, Oh Aisha, give those seven dirhams in the path of Allah. And the Prophet ﷺ became unconscious. And Aisha radiallahu anha was attending to the Messenger of Allah. And the Messenger of Allah gained consciousness. And he said, Oh Aisha, have you given those seven dirhams in the path of Allah? And she said, Oh Messenger of Allah, I was busy attending to you. And the Prophet sallallahu said, Oh Aisha, what will I do on the day of judgment? That I will stand in front of Allah and I will have wealth in my possession. Only seven dirhams. Allahumma, Allahumma ahyini miskinan. وَأَمِتْنِي مِسْكِينًا Oh Allah, when I leave this dunya, take me away from this dunya in the state of poverty. The narration mentioned when the Prophet ﷺ passed away, Aisha radiallahu anha mentions that we didn't even have oil to burn in the lantern of the Prophet ﷺ. Not even oil to burn. And then the Prophet ﷺ said something amazing. He said, Oh Allah, when you take me into account on the day of judgment, then take me account in fr- with the poor people. And he told Bilal, <coughs> he said, Bilal, die with the poor people. And the narrations mention that Bilal died in relative poverty. Why? Because he will be in the group of the Prophet ﷺ. <laughs> إلا الله لا إله إلا الله ما لنا رب سواه